And Bianca, on a scale of one to ten, how on are you? <laughs> <laughs> so one, two, or three. Now I'm off. <laughs> you had to if ask. You have, if you have to ask, I'm off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow my mic out. Calm down. <laughs> um, can we, can we go to to Six Flags? <laughs> Goblin House Studios. Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 23 of our actual play tabletop podcast. I'm Matt, and I play Shrimp Stomp. I'm Jojo, and I play Nix. I'm Bianca, and I play Leilothia. I'm Spook Jam, and I play Galliot Delaric. Hey, everyone, I'm Cody, and I play Thord and Stronghold. And I'm Adam. I am our game master. Well, in our last episode, the party overcame a surprise attack by some snipers from a thieves guild one of them survived the battle and was questioned by the party and he was questioned quite uh hardly gruesomely perhaps um but the the party extracted a little bit of information about him and it was suggested to him strongly that the thieves guild stop messing with you guys and maybe give up on the idea of this bounty on Thoradin. And uh, afterward, you nursed your wounds at Martin's Inn and uh, had a nice meal there. And Galliot played some music with uh, a local bard. Um, now it's morning. One thing I thought of in hindsight, um, since Del Sonora is still wearing some of some of authority and spare clothes. <laughs> She probably like looted some of the clothes off of the the female uh, thief that y'all beat, um, so she can have something a little better. But I suppose that would be soaked in blood from the arrow shot to her neck. <laughs> but she at least she got a few things, probably stained that dark brown color <laughs> of dried blood. <laughs> hey guys, does this sir coat make my ass look big? <laughs> 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 um so you all gathered downstairs for for breakfast? Yes. 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 There's quite a few people downstairs. A lot of farmers uh need a little bit of alcohol to get through the day and they, they start early. And uh a lot of food is being served. You um uh, you see a group of men have arrived um, with crossbows and you see what looks like maybe nets that are all wrapped up tight and they have these gray scarves wrapped around their head and uh, you just you can hear chatter and they're, they're hunters here to hunt some of the spiders. And one piece of chatter you hear from a farmer. Did you hear the old barn burnt down last night? What barn? What Why are you speaking up? <laughs> what? Yeah, one less nest for the spiders. Of course, now they're looking for a new home, but oh well. And Martin looks up from serving a plate to someone, and he looks right in your direction. Oh no! And just, <laughs> just shakes his head. Me, Shrimp stop. Raises his hand up. Biscuits, please. <laughs> Minx, Minx goes um. <laughs> He likes them barbecued. <laughs> well, we're just going to start throwing people under the bus. Okay, why are you inserting yourself? Why are you inserting me into these God, random people's conversation? Oh, I don't have to know that we were a part of it. Just you like, are 
very much hinting at it. <laughs> Here, here's the biscuits. Here's biscuits. Put biscuits in your mouth. Makes <laughs> runs around and starts dropping mushrooms in everybody's no, soup. No, no. <laughs> no. Oh. Nix, Nix, sit out. Martin is gonna kick y'all out again. Guys, we said we would behave. <sighs> You literally, you did. We, I, we were Leilatia way too tired. Way too tired. I was. Be, I am being hey, I was being nice. You were not. You're being suspicious. <laughs> Can we eat your food? <laughs> I thought I was adding flavor to their food. The, the nice thing is to leave everybody alone. <laughs> no, I really didn't do that. <laughs> I was just sitting there. You get some biscuits. You get maybe some spider sausage and spider eggs. Dude, I don't know how that works. It's gross. Maybe Poor Thoradin. Thoradin is out here dying. Maybe some spider muffins. Do you have just regular gravy? <laughs> oh my god, spider bake sale. Made by spiders. Get of spiders. Ham. For spiders. Yeah, I'll take a um, spider. I, I too will also partake in... All right. In the ham? No, yes. it's mine. In the ham. <laughs> spider ham. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> He goes uh, back to get a hold of some food. <laughs> that is a whole new meaning to spam. <laughs> Spiders posing as meat. <laughs> Ew. Sorry. As, as y'all are eating a few biscuits, <clears throat> Adele Sonora speaks up. Looks like she's been thoughtful for a while. The marks on your body, do they hurt? Um, they itch every now and then. No, they don't hurt, but they most definitely don't let you forget that they're there. Sometimes it's a bit irritating. Honestly, I uh, haven't felt it at all. <laughs> well, I apologize if it weren't for me. Uh, if you never encountered me, you would never have this problem. That thought did cross my mind. Yes, mm. but... But you would have been dead. Yes, but that wouldn't be your problem. With the amount of ruckus we go around causing everywhere, I really don't think this is uh, that much to worry about. I see. But, but if we didn't encounter you, there probably are others like you, so we can't figure out how to help them. I heard you speak about the man or creature in the graveyard. Maybe something like that. That's what Zin said. I could have become that. Yeah, and, and apparently there are more, more wizards that are being taken, and we need to figure out how to combat that. She looks down at her book for a moment. Well, you have helped me get my book back. As I promised, I'll accompany you and help you try to remove these. Wherever you go, I will I will honor that commitment I've made. I, I do know that we need to get some more precious stones. More so pearls. Pearls uh, for a spell. Identify. Yes. We've already used one, so we just need five more. What is your plan? I know that we are going swimming. <laughs> Galliot looks up. <laughs> There's the shipwrecks that we need to go and investigate. I have heard of those. Oh my god, beach episode. <laughs> the beach episodes are coming. Episode. Obligatory beach episodes. That's why I said we were going swimming. Guys, oh my god, beach episode. I definitely think it has something to do with the sea. Because that guy at the graveyard had the eel hand. And you smell like salt water. <laughs> so something keeps going about the water. And, um... I'll notice she does kind of has an algae smell going on, too. Something... And not not a rotting corpse for some reason. And, uh... She pulls a fish out of her ear. <laughs> 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 and, uh... Well, they're unfortunately not undead. Which means I wasted my holy 
<laughs> oh, that's the worst part. Maybe we can get you more. It's expensive holy water, but I I can probably make some more. And uh I have uh, some ideas as to how to get uh get money for us. Thornton, you don't have to do that. <laughs> well, I mean You don't have to sell your body this time. <laughs> <laughs> What, what do you mean? <laughs> no, I, I meant I can I can forge items. No. <laughs> Sorry, what were we thinking? <laughs> Forging items. Just... Yep. Gotcha. Don't, don't concern yourself about it, young guy. <laughs> Good items or bad items? Well, I'm... Uh... It's been a long time since I've done it, but I am, uh, at least in a previous life, I was a, uh, I was a, uh, a cleric for Satoan. That's the aura I've gotten from you. And one of the things that clerics of Satoan could do are, is forge items without, without the need of a, of our actual forge. So, in other words, good items. Uh, items. Mm. <laughs> we are chaotic good. You curse them and give them to bad people. I mean, I can forge things like weapons and armor, depending on uh, what uh, whatever someone uses it for de- in, uh, determines if it's a good or bad item. But, but I meant as in good, as in you had good intentions. Hmm. When you forged. Well, I, uh... Thornton just, like, kind of stops talking for a second. Because <laughs> he's he's thinking on, like, some of the things he's done in the past. And, she's, it, and Ning's is picking up on it. She She's trying to say that no matter how you're, you take it, you had good intentions of for protection and not... Galia on his way to make an evil sword. <laughs> Um, mm. Well, she was trying to make it to where you would feel a little more. He just kind of like looks over at Shrimp Stomp. It's uh, something like that. What? <laughs> Everyone's confused. <laughs> I'll, uh... Have y'all... Have y'all been smoking my sky this <laughs> long? Look at a conversation y'all having right now. I'll, uh... I'll, I'll explain it later. Okay. It's not something I want. I wish to get it to now. Are we out of biscuits? <laughs> Already. Who took them? <laughs> you, <laughs> ate them. You, you ate them all. You probably are, but luckily Martin shows up with, with your actual meal and some drink. Nice. And he uh, pauses and he looks at Leilathia. Ah... Young lady, I, you know, I still have your horse in my stable. Yes. Might, uh, might have accrued about ten pieces of silver worth of, uh, handling and care, you know. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do two pieces of gold just to, to settle that, and I'll be ah. gathering him today. You have a horse? I appreciate it. <laughs> and didn't have to walk? Uh, yes. Oh, I with. <laughs> How long has your horse been here? Uh, well, since like the seven days. <laughs> since we've met, uh, we we took off on our adventure so quickly. Um, you didn't think to grab your horse. Look, uh, things. I happen. had the fox. Okay, the but, horse. But... I knew the horse was going to be safe, and I'm not going to lie. I may have forgotten time or two about the horse but we're here now i know about the horse i've remember- been here like three different times eight days. How, it's how, been eight days how does one forget about such a beast <laughs> okay maybe maybe i smoke too much sky thistle okay there's a slim chance that that might be what has happened do you here. even remember 
I don't remember why I forgot. <laughs> That's <laughs> ridiculous. It's kind of... <laughs> but the point is, is we are about to go on this trip. And if y'all remember, we just kind of like had to... We had to go. Dash. We, like, we, we, we did. You really did. There was and no in time. fact, and you were because of the ruckus. You were Martin closed the door behind you, <laughs> so there was no time to collect anything. That's probably why he didn't sell the horse. He was worried about some future legal action. <laughs> not only that, but it's not like he'd want to get into a conflict with us. <laughs> he he, he kicked you out. Watch as he's like level twenty. <laughs> We already burned down the barn. He wouldn't want us to burn down. Yeah. <laughs> he kicks you out, steals your horse. He no like, I have no option. I have no horse. option. I have to keep this horse here. It's a level 20 bartender. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but as I, as I was saying needlessly, uh, or needless to say, I can forge items and we can sell them. Might make a, a tidy little sum. You do need money. You need money to pay Zen and well, I guess a lot of research might have to happen to figure out what the hell to do to free you of, of this curse. Well, well the, it's worth. some of the reason to go to the uh, shipwreck yeah, is to hopefully find some of the uh, precious things that will need out uh, there. Yes, yes. Um, we're going to go to a shrimp re- ship shipwreck. A, sh- a, sh- a shrimp wreck. <laughs> a shrimp wreck. A shrimp wreck. Episode name. Take your pants. To the shrimp wreck. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, we're going to go to a shipwreck uh, that's been picked clean, most likely, and we're going to find precious materials. Yes, of course. Um. It was a hope type that, situation, that, if I recall. I mean, that, where else would you find them? That, that, so, that, that more makes so, perfect sense. We're not. We, we may not find what we need inside the ship, but also to the ship. Looking at the floor, you know, some of us are closer to the floor than others. <laughs> right? <laughs> you know, it's, so it's not just a, let's see what valuables we can find. This is. Lothia, two third of our party. You, know, you should get lucky and find a clam with a pearl in it. Uh, exactly, yes. we're going um, to the ocean. Um, we can find. Somebody just was rude. <laughs> uh, I'm You're just saying, saying, I'm just all short. I'm just saying it's going to be easier for some of us to find these items that we're looking for. So what? You, what? You, what you're uh, saying is, we need to pin all of our hopes on the short people <laughs> on going to the uh, the shipwrecks and finding a clam with a pearl in it. In an area um, where people do that for a living. Um, what do we just tie a bag to your butt and see what, what, <laughs> what things we collect on our way there? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> Look, if we don't what find anything at that we beach, we can back. keep walking. That's how beaches work. They keep going. <laughs> this bag is full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. Oh, That's yes. brilliant! <laughs> you don't have to make potty breaks anymore! <laughs> Ew. Shrimp stop. What? Carry your filth with you! Absolutely uh, not. Name of uh, the episode just, of Forgotten Horse Center. Back on your page. Negative. Just Bag negative, Thornton. All the time. Like there are, are so many ways that we can I'm go. offering a solution. Shrimp stop solution is turning into a walking hip of, hip of violation. <laughs> Guys. Just actively trying to find a bag strapped to my ass. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm, I'm offering us a solution to make money. Yes, but um, um, also um, um, you may have to. And I look at shrimp stump. We may have to get wet. Uh, no, no. Well, how about no. this? Shrimp stump can stay on the. Oh, uh, the sandy part. Okay, but he's for... one of the short little guys. He's gonna have to look, help look. Well, yeah, I, I will look, look in the boats on land. Don't touch the water. The boats are gonna probably be partially in water as well. Then they're gonna be wet. Look, mm. dwarves don't go into the water. No, Dwarves do not see, get into see? the water. Smart dwarf. Oh. What'd you do? Get your hair done? <laughs> oh, hmm? the bar. What'd you do? Get your hair done? <laughs> what? The... So you can't go in the water? I cannot go in the water. 
having our conversation, all of a sudden it got really loud, and everybody's just like gawking at us. Fuck <laughs> with the look, oh, see, look. The boats are on land because there's a god in the sea. He puts the boats on the land. Do y'all not remember this? I've lived with, I've had to deal with these gods my entire life. Yes, I remember. <laughs> okay, me no go in the water then. But you know, sometimes gods get a little bit lazy. You just throw it up there, dude. It's gonna be partially in the water, at least a few of them. I will do the ones on land. <laughs> I'm gonna those? throw you in the water. You better not! Yeet this whole midget of the ocean. Rude! I'll, I'll give you a bit of a DM reminder since there's uh, <clears throat> no notes being taken. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but we've got recordings. <laughs> That's been working. <laughs> That's been working. It has. Um, the very first reason Zen brought up the potential of the shipwreck is because he was speculating that the collars, based on how ancient and rare they are, may have um, been looted from a newly brought up ship mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. the hopes that there's something on that ship, including it maybe the age of it, just uh, in general, any kind of information that he could possibly use to pin down more, um, just more info on the collar itself. And then hopefully maybe find something valuable too. Mm -hmm. But that was the secondary. Have we told Zin that we've seen people with similar Mark stars? You, um, you told him the whole story about the, uh, what did I call him? The man with the penis yeah, arm? Yeah, I had a good <laughs> With the penis arm? <laughs> you don't say that when I'm trying to drink. <laughs> <laughs> you told Zen uh, basically the whole story about the spooky guy in the in the graveyard that had all the symbols on his neck mm -hmm. as he had apparently once had a collar that was branded into his flesh. So you have, you have communicated that to him. And that's how he deduced that well, maybe that was going to happen to Del Sonora, but y'all interrupted the process by breaking the collar. And now it's going to happen to all of us. So y'all are Probably. unique because you, each of you have one of the symbols instead of all being trapped on one individual. We are never allowed to stand in a circle and hold hands. <laughs> okay. Friendship is bullshit, guys. Interesting. We're all part of a spell now. <laughs> yeah. We become we're, the caller. We're all going to morph destroy. into one person. Guys, well, if we want to murder someone, we just uh, get them in the middle of a circle and hold hands. You know, uh, Power of I friendship, like, eat them straight like, to the gods. I feel like what would happen is like you know us turning into one person. I feel like it would be like this weird, crazy monster <laughs> with like twelve hands. Yeah. Oh my like, god, we can fuse together, screaming in pain. <laughs> like, like that's, that's why what, did we do this? That, that's exactly that is, that what I thought. Part of it covered in slime and fungus. That, 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 that is some. Love the other side, nice right and there. clean, and flowers. <laughs> Adam's campaign just turned oh, into cosmic and... horror. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rafi has a point though, because uh, if you remember when you entered the graveyard and got close to that grave, you felt a weird connection chain between all of you and whatever was under the ground in that grave. I mean, Thor did not like, like El Sonora. So there, there's some kind of weird connection Maybe when they're we all can together. Control the death. All right, guys, look, we cannot hold the, hands. The, she the, the dead, last though. moments of like whenever we're like, all right, guys, this is it. We're all gonna she die. Was... Let's. <laughs> we'll all just hold hands. It's all fun and games until we do that, and we're in the wrong order. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we can maybe we can use a little bit of necromancy. <laughs> <laughs> and then Adam's like we explode. <laughs> like, all right. He's like just like all right. Pulls out an old book. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Campaign officially starts. Is that a face this. on the book? Don't mind that. It's <laughs> the Necronomicon. So we've literally just been fucking around, not even playing D D this entire time. <laughs> God the that is a, perhaps a question. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I can't wait till we get a little more. Guys, we're totally 100% in character, we promise. Necromancy stuff. Whoa. Whoa. Well, uh. You didn't know that? I, I did. Oh, okay. <laughs> Zen never mentioned it, but he's, he is a necromancer. And so is Dulcinor. Necromancy is just, just late healing. Uh, so, so Thoradin just like. 
he, he, here's this, 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 uh, nugget of, uh, information from God and just like looks over at Del Sonora mm-hmm. with a, pulls out his hammer with intent. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't mean they just got just done jo- sacrificing a baby. I'm just joking. <laughs> They do have a reputation, though, don't they? But all I'm saying is dwarves do not go into the water. So you can stay on land with me. And I will make yes, an ma- item. Make stuff, and I'll look on the beach, and the swimmers can do the gross swimmy things. <laughs> you were told they were dragged up on the beach, so at least some of it must be on land. At least some. Dwarves sink. Dwarves sink into the water every time. There has oh, never once oh, been damn. a swimming dwarf. You don't even get a roll. You just, hmm? nope. you just sink. <laughs> yeah, they, they, I, they were, how do you survive like if y'all ever were shipwrecked? Dwarves don't go on ships. <laughs> <laughs> then how do what are you, you going to do if y'all need to go somewhere? <laughs> yeah, how did oh, you find We'll use them as the anchor. <laughs> well, I guess I'll just have to... Uh, <laughs> this corpse. <laughs> 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 We're just just, a, to the just a grubby Thornton sitting on the ocean bottom. Mm. <laughs> 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 I actually know he's got this like he's got water thing, breathing, and he's like just huffing it, <laughs> <laughs> just pulling the boat behind him. I'll stay behind. <laughs> <laughs> There's only one way you're going to get me on a boat. We'll Hard punch t- him and take him. Hogtied. That's okay. a good idea. Okay, there, there, are se- there are several different ways, but uh, mostly just one way. <laughs> Knock him out. And well, uh, I swear I'll take one of you with me. Oh. Well, we'll, we'll slip a little bit of, of special mushroom in his drink. Look what are you going to do about that huh? if you're unconscious? Well, I'll never drink anything you give me. Uh, who said I was giving it to you? I'll never drink anything any of you give me. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> what a frying if pan works good enough. What dwarven last to- you Have you seen any beautiful dwarven lasses? <laughs> I, also, I've the, seen door them hmm? oh, the door opens. The door opens. The only thing she has Look is at a her dream. beard. <laughs> I I don't accept the dwarven women. <laughs> not, not in this setting. Let them have beards. No beards. I, that's I'm putting my foot down there. <laughs> Adam is biggest. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe they have a little bit of, of fuzz. You know. Just a little sideburn. They don't, they don't bit, have beards. But no there. beard. Mm. Ew. There's, oh. yes. Bearded clams. Yes. <laughs> We're not talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> that is probably significant. Down there, <laughs> it's it's fancy and braided with beads. I'm sorry, I went there. Mm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Jordan's girlfriend. Anyway, we're cutting this out. Yeah, see, no beard. <laughs> All right, so you have you've eaten your meal. What are you going to do? Are you going to follow up the the rumor of the paladin that was looking for shrimp prop? <coughs> shrimp prop. <Wow. laughs> what the fuck's up with my name today? <laughs> shrimp prop. Shrimp prop. Shrimp prop. Um. Shit, man. Mr. Thornton, sir? Uh, you, what, what is it? Um, do you think we should go back to the temple of Umaira and see what that paladin wanted? I mean, I, I probably wouldn't. That's... But, uh... Well, what if it's important? Well, what if they need me to talk to Umaira for them? I, uh, for, forgive me, uh, uh, Master Shrimpstomp, I'm a little bit, uh, suspicious of people, <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, it, it, they could want you to speak to a Meyer for them, I don't think that's, uh, the case, though. I trusted him, he had kind eyes. Most likely they want to, um, get rid of you. No, we all worship Umaira together. That's not the Umaira way. You were instantly kicked out. You were. It's a misunderstanding. Mm. <laughs> the the the, the Peloton guy he he had really nice, kinded looking eyes. Yeah, kinded. see, good person. Have we even met this Peloton guy before? Yes. 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 Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. Mm. Cut that out. Hey, 
Okay. Look, if you are, if you want to go speak to the Myla, I'll accompany you. <laughs> Thank you. I think that would be a good idea because we can go there, and it's on the way to the ships. Have you found that bag, Sorden? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> the bag for your butt. <laughs> no. <laughs> Forgotten horse and a bag for Thorden's butt. <laughs> yeah. Thorden's butt bag. <laughs> Guys, I'll use you please. as a butt bag. Oh, <laughs> wow. Please do. What? <laughs> that was not no. Lilothia. That was not Lilothia. It was definitely Nynx, though. <laughs> We better never re-record a session again. <laughs> we are not on topic at all. There's 40 minutes of us just jacking around. Hey, this makes up for the low energy we had last week. So but They're not even going to hear the low energy we had last week. Exactly. <laughs> well, we're doing better. That's, it. That's what's the Not case. to mention, I tend to keep almost everything in now so that they can actually feel like we're... They're at the table. Oh, oh yeah, we'll, but me I've, referencing Undertale is off the table. <laughs> other IPs are, yeah, they yeah, have to go off the table. Listen. As much as I wouldn't mind the Undertale fan base. Looking <laughs> the uh, Listen, I just want some spider cider, okay? <laughs> leave me be. I might just leave it in, because he's pretty cool about oh, yeah. referencing. Anyway. <laughs> like, he's had f a lot of people... Like, you've seen the Undertale fan base. Like, yeah. he's had plenty of people get a lot of money off of the game. All right. So. All right. Are y'all going to head out to do that? Anyways, yep. back on topic. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I'm going to grab. Yes. Shrimpsop's going to grab another biscuit and then tear it in half, put half of it in his pocket, and <laughs> he's ready to go. <laughs> half of it in his poop pocket. <laughs> like, what the hell? Ladies. <laughs> These two down here need to be separated. Okay, y'all. <laughs> no, I, I'm, I am. Do we need to put a table between you two. <laughs> <clears throat> no, I have a, a wee bit of a hangover. No, I would actually. What happened is I looked at Lee, but I was looking and say, "Okay, are you gonna grab your horse before?" And she was <laughs> covered her mouth, and that's where all that. Look, ladies, we oh. we have things to do and uh, places to go, so. No, that's a young master. Hmm? Yeah, I'm My a master. Remember, nobody knows I'm a chick yet. Yeah, that's right. Because uh, no one checks, and uh, every time she uh, looks down her shirt, and I, I go, what are you doing that for? She doesn't answer. She has a, <laughs> she has a creature on her face. You might have a creature in her shirt, too. Mm. <laughs> well, I think yeah, the so. beard winks at you. How many, oh. how many of us actually know that the beard is fake? None. I don't think any of you listeners I've, remember I've that it. it's a slaw. Yeah, you've been... Shrimp Stomps has seen it wink, mm. but didn't question it because he had his mind on other things. <laughs> but I'm sure he has things that wink on him, too. <laughs> <laughs> Several! Fungus. Fungus and all. Uh, all right. Disgusting. All right. So... Okay, Martin breathes a sigh of relief as he sees y'all are leaving. We didn't even do anything this time. You, you're just... Your very existence... It's, 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 it's exhausting. It's, it's the threat of. <laughs> I go up, I go up to, to Master Martin and I tell him, for your kindness, I will, I will plant a few mushrooms for you out in your garden. He, uh, that, that's all right. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. We're all good. You, it's, it's great to see you. You have a good travel. Oh. In other words, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> and get the hell out of All here. All right, well, so instead she, ri she rifles through and she hands him one of her little mushroom trinkets and runs out and says, thank you! He, he just looks, has a pile it, of all, all these trinkets off. that she's given him. <laughs> In the garbage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he, the garbage. he turns around and throws it in the fire and is kindling. Who knows? It might be some poisonous gas comes out of it. Mm -hmm. probably, I'd be so like, offended. Probably, we don't know what kind of mushrooms you're just spreading everywhere. You could be turning people into zombies. I think that's several different kinds. Well, for all, for all Martin knows, you know, he doesn't know what this shit could be. He just knows the all are dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, some of us more than others. <laughs> the shit smear. You re-enter the city, and if you recall, the Temple of Umira, called the Sewing Temple, is not very far 
just north of that gate. And uh, as you head there, you see the familiar um, big dome on a hill surrounded by a row of planted trees and a winding ramp that goes all the way down to the street, uh, along which is a relief sculpture of Umaira and, and some other smaller people, because she's real big, uh, bending over in the fields, planting things in the fields. It's kind of stylized. Uh, there's a group gathered at the foot of the ramp, though. And as you approach and see, it's several of those um, guards in ornate armor with red cloaks. Um, a few other red-cloaked priests or acolytes or something. And uh, amongst them is a man in full armor in a red cloak and a little golden laurel crown uh, around the back of his head above his ears. And he's, uh, he looks very tired. He's taking his gauntlets off. He's taking his cloak off and giving it to an assistant. Looks like they just got finished with some big ceremony or something. And as you walk up, the, the group turns and, and looks at you. And that important looking man in armor is, is definitely Cassius, the man you met before. Well, he, he uh, points at all of you and says, there's still a distance between you, but he says it loud enough for you to hear. The high priestess has banned this group from the temple. You need to remove them. And he brings one of his ceremonial guards closer and whispers in his ear and then sends him on. And he walk, that, that guard walks out to y'all and set, raises his voice loud enough for everyone to hear and says, be off with you, get off of the premises. Then he lowers his voice, where probably only you can hear, and the group gathered behind cannot. The High Paladin would like to meet with you. Not far from here is a South Moon Sanctuary called the Endless Sky. You could meet him there in an hour. He wishes to speak with you. Oh, okay. I oh. thought you were mad at us for a minute. Upon hearing uh, the name of the endless sky, I was like, no. "Oh no!" Yes, it is. It's <laughs> oh the no! South, it's the South Moon Bar that you hated. One of you liked, but the rest of you. Oh, oh we're going no. back to Weed Town, baby. <clears throat> well, I can go to the the gym shop. <laughs> we have one mission. So he I raises his voice again and gestures for you to get out of here. Well, we didn't want to. We didn't want to come here anyway. Rude. <laughs> Uh, I think you'd visit them last time and you really didn't find what you were looking for. Yeah, but I have the ring now. It's a fancy ring, too. I've got that part. You do, you girl. Ter tell the, the, the ring has several jewels in it. I think six rubies that might be pretty valuable, too, so that would help you out. Well, I All must right. definitely have some stocking up that I'm going to do. I, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Tell the bitch I give, me, give her my regards. <laughs> the guard stops and turns around and looks shocked. I, I, like, I just immediately turn around. Like, I'm not even like... <laughs> it turns like, okay, bye! <laughs> you see, he, he looks kind of confused and just shrugs it off and goes back and joins the group. So we, like, try to pretend like we we're already going that direction. Yeah. We just happen to pass by... But, uh, but yeah, no, <laughs> Thornton's like immediately walking away and he's like rolling his eyes. Like, I do not want to go back to that place. <laughs> <laughs> that that to... second bounty is being written. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nice to, leans over to Thornton. Hey, you can go back to your, your place of ill refute. Oh yeah. The topless bar. Oh, <laughs> no, that was an expensive restaurant. 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 With, with, I forgot uh, that existed. <laughs> with, I guess, uh, and none a of harem them? of, of uh, negotiable use. <laughs> you can go back to your mob. <laughs> well, first of all, I don't think any of you knew where he was. Shrimp did, did. Shrimp Stomp found you. Shrimp Stomp told him. Oh, <laughs> so many the movies. <laughs> so <laughs> many nap naps. <laughs> But it was so much nicer than your breeding pigs. <laughs> All right. Well, as y'all head to the endless sky, 
we're going to pick up next time when we get there. Grumbling under my breath. <laughs> okay, everyone. Thank you for listening. Please support your local hobby shop. And please like or subscribe or comment or follow us and all those things. Please. That will help us. Thank you. You can follow us on Twitter at Goblin House ST. You can follow us on Facebook on, at Goblin House Studios. You can also follow us on TikTok and Snapchat at Goblin House Studios. Thanks, everybody. Bye. 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 God, we got nothing done this time. Yeah.